Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to be grilling this beautiful Côte de Boeuf. This is a really nice dry aged Côte de Boeuf from the Rubia Gallica breed. Let's open up the package, take a look inside. Dry it off. Look at that, that's a gorgeous cut. What we can do to make this a little bit more beautiful is get a bit of butcher's twine and tie it up. So I just want to make sure that this is going to be the best looking roast that I can make it. So I'm getting my butcher's twine, go around it, wrap it up, go underneath. Because this cut is so thick, we can use a little extra securing. Cut the last part off. A gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous Côte de Boeuf. We are going to prepare this Côte de Boeuf using the reverse sear method. So we want to add a little bit of smoke and we're going to need some wood chips. I'm using cherry wood chips because I think it's going to go well with our sauce. Got a little bit of water here and full of wood chips. And we're just going to let these soak. I'm going to fire up the grill and I want to create an indirect zone. So I'm going to fire it up on the opposite side of where I'm going to put the steak. We'll put a little bit of salt on our steak and we'll put most of it on our fat cap. It's going to crunch up that outside fat real nice. If you think this is too much salt, don't worry about it. Most of the fat will fall off during the rendering. Well, she is a gorgeous steak. Our grill is coming up to temperature, so let's put her on. We'll put in our wood chips. So we're opening up the wood chip tray. Close it up. Turn on the burner. Our steak is slowly coming up to temperature. Now it's time to prepare our sauce. For our sauce, we're going to need 400 milliliters of beef broth. And we're going to take double that amount in port. Of course, now we have to reduce it. So we're going to fire up a sizzle zone. A little bit of gas and wait for three seconds. Fire it up. We'll put the pan on. We're going to let this reduce until one third or until we get the syrupy consistency. Let's check on our steak. 35. So we still have 10 degrees to go. We'll just set it to a higher precision. That will help to get up to temperature a little quicker. Because on the gas grill, if you have a direct zone and an indirect zone, the heat is going out through the back. So the further you're going away from the direct zone, the cooler the area is. Now in the meantime, we want to check on our sauce. It's reducing nicely, but we're not there yet. We just want to check for flavor. The flavor is definitely good, but we're going to need a little bit of extra. I'm adding four juniper berries and a bay leaf. And I'm adding about eight to 10 peppercorns. Well, it's crunch time. Our sauce has been reduced to the point where we want it to be. So we're going to slow down on our heat. We got our steak to the point where we want to start it to grill. We're around 50 to 48 degrees Celsius, so we're almost there. Now we'll just put the pan on the grill here. Let it cool down a little bit. We'll take a cast iron pan, put it on the sizzle zone. Let it come up to temperature. What, what we're going to do is we saved some of the beef fat that we got from our beef ribs. We're going to render that down and use it as an ingredient. So look at that, we got this beautiful fat. We're just gonna put it fat side down in the pan until it renders down. So if you have ever gotten a brisket or like a beef ribs with a lot of fat on them, save it, don't throw it away. It's a great ingredient. Render down that fat. In the meantime, we're going to slice an onion. I like to use red onions. We'll 
take a bowl of garlic, smash it. And we have now we have got enough fat, so we're just throwing this away, and we're keeping that fat. Going to add our onion and the garlic, and then we have these mushrooms that we're going to add as well at the same time. Oh, that smell! That is amazing. We'll add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. These mushrooms are soaking up all the beef fat. They're gonna be little flavor bombs. So we'll just get that bay leaf out of our sauce and we'll put in our mushrooms. Now this sauce is coming together real nice. Well, we get to the point where we need to check it for flavor because we're almost at that finishing point. I'm gonna add a twig of rosemary, which we're just gonna stick in there. We're also gonna add a twig of thyme. We're not actually going to integrate it into our sauce. We're just gonna use that flavor of the twig. So we'll turn on this burner and we'll put our sauce on top of that burner. This way we're just going to slowly let the sauce simmer. We don't want it to evaporate much further but we just want to cook a little bit of that mushroom just that little bit further and have it soak up all those flavors. Now we're also going to grill our steak using cast iron. So this is a cast iron crepe Suzette pan. I'm lifting up the grill grate, putting it to a higher precision so I can put on my pan, turn up the heat to about halfway and let this come up to temperature. And when it does come up to temperature, we're going to sear that steak to perfection. If you look closely, you can see that the smoke is coming from our cast iron pan. That's the moment where you know it's searing hot. We'll take that beautiful steak and we're going to use the outside fat to render down and season up this pan. We're just gonna move it around, let the fat render down. You see the salt is coming off. Now we're just going to put it on the side, we got enough fat and we'll let this puppy sear up. Look at this, look at that. This is the best color I had on a steak ever, ever. It's red, it's golden brown. Stop searing it now, it's not getting any better. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Listen to that. That's crunchy beef fat. Let's take off these twines. We get to that magic part where we slice that bone off. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's almost like I don't have to slice. Look at that. This meat is so tender. It just almost pulls away from the bone. Nothing left to do but slice into this, right? So we'll start here. And work our way through. Okay, now the trick is to transfer it to our serving plate all at once. There we go. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Now we're taking that sauce. I'm not just gonna put over it. That would be a shame. I'm going to put it on the side so we can eat it with our steak, but it's not dominating all that beautiful steak flavor. Well, it's time, time for the taste test. Which slice should I get right? Dude, be respectful, that's my steak. So it's time, time for the taste test. Dude, which slice should I get? They all look so good. Pull one out in the middle. Look at that. Now that is tender. Look at that, absolutely super tender. Beautiful meat, gorgeous. A Little bit of salt and a little bit of that juice from the sauce. Mm. Wow, we're definitely getting that smoke flavor. Absolutely gorgeous. 
reverse sear, nice and red in the middle, small gray edge, crispy outside, absolutely perfect steak. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It sure is tasty. Make sure you uh, leave me a thumbs up, a comment down below, and if you want to support us, hit that sponsor button. See you guys next time. Until then, keep grilling.